I think today's uh, has the feel of a panic day, right? Because the VIX is spiking, so that's forcing de-risking. And today's, you know, tax day. I, I did talk to a few desks uh, on the private banks, and they've been saying that some of their clients have had to raise cash, so there's selling today. And as you know, there's a lot of people that need to get out of technology because that's a crowded long. And a day without natural buyers means you get this sort of big downdraft. So, uh, you know, is this uh, scary? Absolutely scary. But do I think that this is going to break the bull markets back? No, I, I would be a buyer today. I know it sounds very strange, but, you know, we have the VIX Soaring again 30% today after after a 40% move after two days. That's not what happens when the markets peak. That usually happens at the end of the sell-off. Do you, do you, would you tell people to buy the Nasdaq as well? I, uh, recently you were saying there was a bit more downside there. Yeah, on uh, the Nasdaq, and let's say I used the triple Q as a proxy. You know, we last week we downgraded tech to neutral, but we you know, basically went underweight fang. On the triple Q, I, I think that it needs to touch the 300, the 200-day moving average, which means roughly 300 on the triple Qs, which is about another 5% um, from here. So I, I, I think that there's still some wood to chop on the tech and the crowded longs there. But, you know, on the commodity-related trades, I, I think these are just the earliest days. And by the way, I know people are saying today's sell-off is CPI-related, but... What still makes me scratch my head is the 10-year really barely budged. So, so uh, just to, to dive into that a bit deeper, and I know short-term trades can be hard uh, to, to call, but, but you think the QQQ could have 5% more downside, but you're happy for people to buy into other fairly broad indices or parts of indices, e even if it is the likes of energy or other cyclicals. You don't think that the QQQ falling 5% would, would drag other things down with it? Um, it's, it's really a tricky, uh, Wilfred, that's a great question, because, look, at the end of the day, if tech's coming down and, you know, it's 40 percent of the market, other things have to go up for the market to sort of stay unscathed. And so I kind of agree with you there. But if this is a, let's say that this is a regime change, okay, where people are trying to get out of tech and the natural buyers have disappeared because, you know, no one's buying that, but they're still firepower on the sidelines, which we know because I know our clients have been cautious, and so they want to redeploy this into the cyclical stocks when the VIX calms down, this is not that different than 02, 2001, 2004, where you know, tech actually sank like an albatross, but everything else went up substantially, and, and the indices actually powered higher overall. So I think it's possible, but it's a great question because for the last 10 years, the market was tech. And I'm just, I guess what we're saying that in 2021, the market is not tech. Financials are outperforming. So are healthcare, but they are lower on the day. Consumer discretionary is the hardest hit. Tom Lee, thank you very much for jumping on the CNBC Newsline. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.